Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the things that are going on in the garden and how things are progressing. I hope you guys are getting your spring gardens ready and let's go ahead and go through this garden tour. But before we go ahead and get into this garden tour, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. So let's go ahead you guys and let's go ahead and check out our garden. So let's talk about it. So right down here in this little patch, I went ahead and cut back my blue salvia. Now the blue salvia is just a beautiful, stunning flower. It does get these beautiful um, bluish purple leaves. Now you have different type of salvias, like pink, you have some true blue, and um, this one here would be considered the true blue. And over here, I have a barbina that is coming back. Now, if you do see a barbina seeds, go ahead and get them. They are a perennial. So right here is another little patch of uh, tulips that are growing right here. And there come my cute little frog <laughs> in his poppy little belly. And down here is another, um, right here is another uh, barbina right here. And in this patch right here, if you see over here, this is a hookara, okay? I do have here some tot soy. I got one here, one here, and one right here. And if you see the bed is pretty much empty and I will be filling up very soon, like very soon. So let's go ahead and keep walking and let's go ahead and see what's everything that's going on. Now, the last time I showed you this, the garden did take a, you know, a nice little hit with the cold, but let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on. So down here, I have some brand new parsley that is growing back beautifully. I went ahead and cut it back and went ahead and dehydrated my parsley, my patch of garlic, okay? And I use it as I kind of like my little garlic chives. And then over here, look at my Swiss chard. So the Swiss chard is doing amazing. So I went ahead and cut it back and look how healthy my Swiss chard is. So great for a salad. Um, I just love it. I saute it sometimes and toss it into my omelet. So this is the Swiss chard. It's really took off. It really has took off. Look at that, you guys. Can you see that? Yes, it's beautiful and coming back very well. Now I do have a little patch of flowers on this end and they're coming back as well. So it's married on both sides. And as well, I have a patch of bleeding hearts in, the, in this patch over here. So let's go ahead and go over to the rest of the garden. So I've, I've showed you guys me cutting back this mint and look how beautiful the mint is coming back. So this pot will be filled right back out um, of a uh, spearmint. So in these pots of spearmint. Now recently I did shoot you guys a video on up being, uh, potting up my lettuce. So I want to go ahead and show you the lettuce. So here is the lettuce. They're starting to do their thing and uh, they do need a little bit of water, but I'll go ahead and get them some water. See the lettuce you guys is doing pretty amazing. So over here inside of the main garden, um, down here is the Brussels sprouts. And my Brussels sprouts has came back. Now I am just gonna go ahead and harvest them for their leaves. I don't really think that the Brussels sprouts theirself is gonna do anything. So um, what you see there, they have opened up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest my Brussels sprouts for their leaves, okay? So my roses are strong. Uh, they're doing absolutely amazing. And as well, my creeping jennies at the bottom of this pot that will spill out very soon. Over here is the rest of my leeks down here. Now I do have a great deal of leeks still. It's a huge patch of leeks and uh, they're super strong, okay? Um, if you see how many leeks I still have down here, I do have, still have a great deal of leeks. Now I did go ahead and dehydrate the last ones and um, when I pull up some more, I might go ahead and dehydrate some more or I just might just uh, grab some for fresh and just toss in some soup or in my roasted potatoes, um, something of the sort. So, but here are the patch of leeks. That's right here. 
over here my petunias guys so here is my double headed petunias and they're coming back really well now one of them did not make it i'll show you um i'll show you in a few but right here they came back really nicely this is my double headed petunias and over here is my kale so this is the scarlet kale right here it's very 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 pretty and strong um i'm gonna go ahead and get me some of this today actually i'm gonna go ahead and harvest some over here is the curly leaf uh kale right here doing very well doing very well okay right here is hanging out here if you guys ever wonder what this is this is actually a butterfly bush it is a perennial and it will come back so over here is the lettuce you guys look at that so this is the lettuce that we planted up it's doing really well uh, i'm going to go ahead and take care of these as well look how pretty and strong they are they have really filled in already down here is my cabbages and over here in those little spots over here you see are my elephant garlic so but look at how my cabbages are doing they are actually coming in really good and forming a head so that's a plus okay so now over here is my purple lady bok choy's i went ahead and let them go into seed because i really need to save some seed I do not have many, so I'm going to go ahead and let all of them go ahead and go to seed so I can go ahead and collect um, my Purple Lady Bok Choy uh, um, seeds, okay? So that is pretty much that. So that is what's going on in the main garden as of right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. Oh, I do want to tell you one more thing. I did go ahead and put in the clay pots in my candle holder. I need to go get one more, you guys. I need to go get one more. So I will be doing that. Um, I need to go to Dollar Tree and get that. But like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.